All right, you crypto knots, baby. It is crypto time once again. All right, let's make a little video here about CPU mining. I uh, <clears throat> pretty much selling off my GPUs, right? Why? Because they suck a lot of power and they make a lot of heat and they make a lot of noise. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't it just wasn't ideal for me. Uh, and of course, with the bear market in crypto mining and Ethereum going to proof of stake, guess what? I'm just slowly selling my GPUs. They work great. They're in great shape. I kept them clean and I'm dumping them on eBay. eBay takes 14%. But I don't want to meet people in public and deal with the uh, population out there and get knifed or something like that. So I just sell them on eBay, right? Simple, dirty, make some money, whatever. It's a done deal. I have kept all my CPU rigs, however. Uh, I have not used them, but I came across another video uh, another video yesterday where they someone said, hey, CPU mining is coming back, blah, 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 blah. So I said, all right. Went out to all my rigs, as you see here on the screen. I went to NiceHash. Everyone bitched and moaned about NiceHash. Listen, whatever. You all can bitch and moan. You go to ZergPool. You can do your own crap. But come on, NiceHash has a great little interface. They got a great little uh, operation going on there. And they handle CPU mining. They handle GPU mining. They actually give you a daemon to download on your system, and it'll uh, do benchmarking and all that stuff. Does the lifting for you, right? You can go do it all yourself, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And they also pay you out in uh, Bitcoin. They uh, run the Monero algorithm, and you get paid in Bitcoin. It's not a bad deal. People that bitch and moan about it, nice ash, don't know what the hell they're talking about. It's a, it's a tool. It's a useful platform. And right now, as you can see, I'm running my, uh, what do I got? I'm running only six rigs right now, CPU rigs, and the majority of these. Yeah, the majority of these are the old AMD Ryzen 9, Ryzen 9, Ryzen 3900Xs. I've got one 3950 in there, and I'm, sure, I'm still playing with that thing. Uh, it's not performing as great. It's number 12 right there. It's performing, I know they all perform differently, and I've been resetting them, and maybe I have to go through with the AMD uh, Master application, the Ryzen Master app, and maybe reset some of these to uh, stock settings and see if I can get a, maybe more juice, more juice out of, it, out of these uh, CPUs as they do CPU mining uh, using NiceHash, which is running the Monero. So let me see here. Let me show you that. Let's go to one of these rigs. Whoa. Let's go to a rig we can read. There we go. Um, benchmark. Mining. Let's expand that. Blammo. And you can see I'm running random. X Monero is the algorithm. 10.5 kilohertz. I need to go through each of these and see if they're all running 10.5 um, megahertz, whatever. Let's check real quick. Oh, this one's running 12. So I think I can go in here and set these and beef each one up, and maybe I can get get them all optimal. Right now, I just kind of let I kind of let NiceHash go in and do it, and that's all good and good and fine. But uh, yeah, if I can get more out of it, why not try it? So here's where I stand right now. The big question you're asking is why am I watching this stupid video? All right. The reason is money. Money makes the world go round, right? Money is in the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. But money is good. Money buys you freedom. Money buys you opportunity. Why not try to make some passive income with your computer rigs you have sitting around? I have two laptops I might turn on and, and start churning, but they're not going to make pennies. So I don't know if I want to waste electricity. Uh, CP mining is awesome. You can make money. It, now it kind of dropped here just now. It was at six bucks right here. Let me see if I can highlight that. This is my actual current actual profitability on NiceHash for the 24 hour period showing 451. It was showing six bucks earlier. It fluctuates, right? You know, fluctuates like my wife's uh, sex drive, right? You know, depends what mood she's in. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, next payout's in an hour 23. I've been running not even 24 hours on and off, playing around with the rigs, cleaning the rigs, just tinkering. So I have not been running steadily for 24 hours, uh, trying to optimize everything so that when my rigs boot up, the uh, the um, oh, the miner will start up with 
the system, which is right here, nice hash miner. And with nice hash miner, I'm running, I choose to run XM rig. I don't know why. I just like XM rig. It's like, it's like your favorite ice cream. You'd pick whatever you pick and, and you, you stick with it, right? So there we are. We have a profit of 434. 24 hour period in Bitcoin. Uh, let's see, got an unpaid next payout hour 22 minutes. You can see my rig six, seven, eight. I guess I could have a nine in there and an 11. And my numbering sucks because I think some of those were GPUs in the past. So I got six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 13. Let's expand one of these. Let's do a performer here. This one seems to do well. There you go. You see the uh, algorithm as you expand it. It is an AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. And I'm getting uh, this algorithm random X Monero 12.56. I like the interface. You cannot knock the interface. It's a nice interface and it's simple. Kicks off the demon. Like I said, does the benchmark and starts mining and gets you paid out in Bitcoin. You start accumulating here in your wallet and then you can transfer it to your Exodus wallet or wherever, ledger, whatever. And it's not, not too shabby. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Rocco Taco 7, same thing. See, this one is running at less rate. And let's see what 6 is running at. These are all 3900Xs, right? And this is, oh, 10 point, so these two are similar. And they're about the same BTC, but look at this one running at 12.56. I need to figure out why, because it's the same. It is the actual same CPU. So I need to figure out, I'm still educating myself on what I'm missing. I need to maybe go through with the benchmarking and stick in 12.56. I'm gonna try that next and I'll report on that if that actually helps. And again, here's a, uh, I don't know, which one's this? This is 3900X, 12 core pro, I just don't know. I need to read up on this. Rocco Taco 10 is running the same, but it's a 10.32 kilohash. And look, it's 4896 Bitcoin, way more than the same thing running 10.25 kilohash. I don't know. I need to figure out what's the performance difference. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm getting lots of notifications. Buy Bitcoin. That's what it says. Buy Bitcoin because the uh, BlackRock and Amazon, all these people may be throwing trillions of bucks behind Bitcoin. You just don't know. Keep up on the news, read and digest and make your own decisions. But that's what my alerts are telling me. All right, let's go down. <clears throat> we got Rocco Taco 3. Should be the same. It is X Monero 10. Yeah, they're all about 10 kilohash. I don't know. I need to figure out the profitability. Why it's the, why this guy up here does better than the other ones. Yeah. All right, I'll have to look at that. Now, here's 12. This is the one-off, the outlier. This one is, uh, per, oh, well, now it's not doing too bad. It's a 3950X, 16 core, 16 cores, baby. Uh, 9.3 kilohash a second. Profitability is 4608, still less, which is amazing to me than a 3900X. So maybe this, the 3900X is more performant. <clears throat> wow, I'm all clogged up. More performant than a 3950X. I just don't know enough. You think with 16 core processes, a 16 core processor, it would uh, be doing really well. Maybe I have not enabled it. I need to figure out what the configuration setting is. Anyway, I'll go back through and do some education, do some research and figure out what I'm missing. Yeah. All right. 10 minutes into this video. That's enough. So you can be profitable on CPU mining right now. If you look again, I'm up to six bucks and 11 cents for 24 hour period. It's almost roughly a buck a rig. So if you have a Ryzen 3900, you can make a buck a day using NiceHash, mining random X Monero, which is what they use on the NiceHash miner. So why not go out and explore or play around? It burns very little power and uh, generates very little heat. And I'm all comparing this to the old GPU days when you're mining Ethereum and those puppies were pumping out heat. You could cook eggs on your, on your rigs. 
uh, sucking down power. And then, of course, the energy companies crank the power up 70% due to the fake uh, energy shortage. So it almost made GPU usage and mining uh, just not ideal, not profitable, not, not even worth doing anymore. Hence me selling my stuff on eBay. And uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. Um, let's see what else. That's all I got. So if you are CPU interested in doing CPU mining, let me know. It's not too shabby. Will the profitability go away tomorrow? Yeah, sure. It's crypto mining. This stuff changes every day. Uh, but but right now I have Ryzen 9s, 3900X, running stock mode. I have not tweaked them or overclocked them or anything. And I'm running the uh, nice hash miner on these uh, Windows these uh, Windows uh, rigs I have. I have Windows running because, I don't know, I can just use Windows just as good as anything else. And this is what I'm currently getting. And I'm going to, my goal now, I'm leaving this video, letting my my action item on the, after this video, man, if I, English hard, is uh, trying to figure out why. Oh, now that kind of spiked up. Maybe it just fluctuates more than I'm, I'm noticing. But I want to check Rocco Taco 6 and see if the uh, profitability goes up. All right, that's all I got, guys. If you're doing CPU mining and you know what I'm missing here or what you're setting this stuff to, let me know. And uh, I appreciate it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Crypto.